hey 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 welcome back to my channel and as you can see today i've got one of my favorite delicacies for you and this is the fried mozzarella without wasting time let's just get started so obviously i am going to be needing some mozzarella and i have here these cute little mozzarella that you can find in any supermarket i think they are about eight pieces I'll just get them out of the water. Now I'll set this aside for later. I'll get a bowl and break in an egg. I'll come in with my favorite seasoning, dark soy sauce, some white pepper, a little bit of black pepper, pinch of salt to taste, some Oregon. I'll grate in some nutmeg. I'll add a tablespoon full of all-purpose flour and come in with about two tablespoonful of milk. With the help of a fork, I will beat it up and you know, mix everything up very well to get rid of every lump. Now I will set this aside for later. I am also going to be needing some breadcrumbs. If you don't know how to make breadcrumbs, I've got the link of that video in the description box, you can check it out. Now I will put the egg mixture and the breadcrumb mixture side by side. First I will drop the mozzarella into the egg mixture and coat it very well. Next, I'll drop it into the breadcrumbs and make sure it is coated very well. I'll put it on another plate and let it rest. And this is what I'll do to all my eight mozzarella. So after coating everything up, this is what we have here. I will get a pan, fill it with some oil and put it on medium to high fire. When the oil is hot enough, I will drop in my mozzarella. I will keep on turning them around. We are going to be frying this till it turns golden brown. Honestly, this will take about just a minute to fry. So as you can see, they are golden brown, so I'll just get them out of the oil. I'll sprinkle on some parsley. And guys, this is so delicious. You need to taste this. You can't stop at one. Fried mozzarella is I thin, and if you've got some visitors coming over, you can impress them with this recipe. So I hope I did help you and I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends. And don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.